What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Stephanie, and welcome to another episode of The Good, The Bad, and The Trendy, the show where we try out new, strange, and innovative products. Today, we are actually gonna be testing out a method, and that is putting powder on underneath your foundation. This is something that I've seen through the years people do. I don't know why I've never tried this out. For oily people, apparently, it's supposed to be real, real good. It's supposed to help with the longevity of your makeup and help keep your oils at bay. So before we get into it, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe below. Come join the sisterhood. No matter your true pronoun or gender identity, come join the family. All right, let's get started. The powder I'm gonna be using is actually from this package I got from Milk Makeup. Actually, check this out. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of trippy. Like you push this up and down, it looks like a blur. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Milk Makeup recently came out with a powder, which I actually have already tested out the lightest color, but I thought the medium would be good for this. So this is like such crazy packaging. Look, you open it up like this. Okay, wait, can I do this? Bouncing on my leg. <laughs> Here's the primer. I love this primer. We're gonna be using this today. Then, in this compartment, they put the foundation. And then, in this compartment, they put the powders. And then there's like a little thing with concealers in there. Okay, and then it all goes together like that. Professional, I know, I'm a very professional product shower. <laughs> the powder that I'm gonna be using underneath the foundation is the Milk Makeup Blur and Set Matte Loose Setting Powder in Medium. Now I have used the light for baking and I came across some issues with it in terms of packaging, but I think that the medium would be great for underneath the foundation because you don't actually like wipe it away. You're just putting a very fine layer of the powder underneath your foundation. I think that this one might be like, you know, too light to put under there, because I don't really put like on a huge mask of foundation. So in terms of the packaging here, you open it up, there is a little sponge that I will be using, and then you do that, and there is like a fine mesh opening right there with all of the powder. I've seen a couple methods of application. Um, I know that Jackie Ina, she just puts it like all over her face, and I saw Ray Boyce put it like just underneath and kind of exactly where I would bake and she did a thicker layer. Uh, so I'm gonna try out Jackie's method because Jackie also baked afterwards as well. I just really want the most balanced opinion because personally I know that I would still maybe wanna bake afterwards. It might be overkill, we'll see. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually prime my skin with the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. So this is the one that I have can see I've used it up quite a bit. So I really do like this primer. Here we go. That's the brand new one. I've gone through a lot of it. It lasts a long time. It's great for traveling. Um, it really just helps to mattify and I feel like it just fills in your pores a bit. Makeup goes on top of it really nicely. It's a blur stick. So I applied that all over. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick some of this powder up with this sponge and go ahead and just place it all over. It's kind of an interesting sponge to use because I feel like it's not picking up it quite evenly. You kind of have to really press into the mesh to get to the powder, I feel like, but just put a nice thin layer on there. Okay, I'm not sure if you can tell, but I do have a thin layer of powder all over my face. I could definitely feel it on the surface. It's very silky. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put on my <laughs> foundation as usual. I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealers. So I'm gonna go in with light beige first. And Jackie just kinda, she directly applied it like that. So we're gonna just do the same thing. See if we see a different finish at all. Hmm. It does feel like it just like whoop, like absorbed much faster. Cause you know, if there's a powder underneath, then it's gonna be even drier of a foundation cause it's gonna just start mixing with that. So I think you have to pat and mix quickly. Even my beauty blender like going across my skin it feels a lot drier. So I don't think this method is, you know, 
definitely not meant for those of you with dry skin because <laughs> the powder I think could definitely attach itself to dry patches like I always have some dry patches up on my forehead and it, you know it brings it out but then throughout the day it kind of dissipates because I my oils all come out here I am with just my foundation done and I know you know I'm using a concealer but if you've watched my video for the last couple of months I've like just really been using this stuff as my foundation and concealer so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with nude now and do a little bit of highlighting conceal just right under the eyes down my nose a little pimple here I'll try and cover that up and do here we are with the foundation and concealer all done. I think it definitely looks more matte uh, than if I didn't have the powder underneath, which makes sense because you're just kind of adding a powder to a foundation for sure. It's kind of like sucking up all the moisture. So let's go ahead and bake now. I'm gonna grab the translucent light. See, this is the issue that I have with this powder. So I try and dip in here. So actually, we got a good amount on the first try. So I'm gonna go ahead and bake. And you know what? This is definitely could be enough. I traveled with this the last couple weeks, so it definitely has been, you know, getting shaken up. So maybe that's the thing. You really have to shake it up before opening it up so there's a more product like outside of the little mesh guy. Right now what I'm gonna do is I am just gonna go ahead do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Back with my full face on. I tried something a little bit new today. Um, I did like this pink blush from my Hourglass Unlocked palette all over. And then I used this uh, Fenty Diamond Ball Out from the very centers. I don't really use silvers that much, so it's a very different look for me. This is the um, Fenty Kilowatt Highlighter that it's the Clara Lionel Foundation um, that Rihanna created. 100% of the proceeds of this product go towards that foundation, so that's pretty awesome. So I really wanted to try and integrate it. I'm not quite sure about the eye look. I think it's growing on me, it's just I'm not used to it, but man, in terms of the face, my skin is looking kind of grubby. I don't know if that's a good descriptive word for it, but you can really just see all of my pores. I'm gonna put the ISO down so you can really see what it looks like. Hopefully you can see it, but I think maybe the second round of baking wasn't good because I was layering more powder on top of the like already like fairly dry foundation. I think just the powder and then the foundation on top, it, it looked good. And then after I wiped away the bake, I was just like, damn, what's happening here? And then it was a bit light, so I went ahead and went in with my Bobbi Brown powder so it matched my skin tone a little bit better. Um, and that did not help at all either. I think there's just too much powder and it just really looks caked. Like, it, this is typically not what my makeup would ever look like. Um, yeah, it just looks really caked on my face, I feel like right now. And especially like on my forehead, if I do this, you can really see my lines. If I make any kind of a motion, it really highlights everything there. So I don't know, man. I'm wondering if over time, like the next few hours, if this is gonna look better. I'm actually doing a check-in. It's been like a couple hours. Definitely my oils have come out a bit. Um, that's because I've been filming and filming always makes me super, super oily. I'm wondering if I'm as oily as I would typically be. It's not like my oils kind of even out the cakiness of the makeup, so yeah. All right, that's all I gotta say, <laughs> bye. I think I just need to switch up my methods. So definitely, if I'm gonna do a powder like this, maybe also, you know, I am using my concealers. That has been an issue in the past. I need to maybe try to use something a little bit more liquidy. But from what I saw with just the powder underneath, 
and the concealer, that looked good. But in a way, I feel like then that would be very similar to me using the powder on top as well. I think that this method could work for me. I just either have to switch up the products or like not bake and maybe use my Bobbi Brown just directly after foundation. So I really do wanna try this out more and test out different methods. So I think for now, I'm just gonna keep it at neutral. Damn, I really thought I was gonna like this right away, but you know what, I'm just gonna keep trying and maybe it'll work out in the end. But anyways, if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe below. Come join the sisterhood. We'd love to have you. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.